and in Catoosa County. At least a dozen buildings collapsed in the city of Ringgold. The downtown area is one of the hardest hit. Sky Fox 5 flew over Ringgold High in Middle School as the schools suffer extensive damage. And our team coverage continues right now with Fox 5's Mark Teichner. He joins us live with me. Well, the governor just completed his uh, assessment of the damage, and what damage it is, seven confirmed dead, at least 30 more injured, and those numbers could go up as the search for victims continue. We would like to ask everyone to keep uh, our community in their thoughts and their prayers. Much of Ringgold is now a city in ruins. The twister set its sight on the northwest Georgia community, putting down at the I-75-348 exit. This is what was left. Gas stations leveled, hotels ripped wide open, and fast food restaurants torn apart. When I got off exit 348, I mean, there were cars. I mean, there's an 18 wheeler thrown about. I mean, there the were Ruby Tuesdays. I mean, every, pretty much everything was, I mean, just demolished. This cell phone video shows just how powerful a funnel cloud we're talking about. While the rest of his family was in the basement, Brian Bailey risked his life to capture it on camera. And I sat outside on my porch and watched it forming. And I could see it for me, so that's when I got my camera out and uh, caught the footage. The storm killed two in Ringgold, then jumped a ridge line and barreled down on Cherokee Valley Road, where five more people died in the neighborhood. We do anticipate there's possibly more victims in some of the debris. The damaged area has been sealed off to the public and will remain so for several days. The reason for that is safety and security. There are still power lines down. There's been gas leaks that have been mostly repaired, but there's still gas leaks in the area. And then we've also had some reports of looting. We've talked with a number of folks who've been frustrated. They come out here hoping to be able to volunteer and to help out, only to be turned away. The officials want us to stress this, and they wanted to get this message out. They do not need, nor do they want, the public's assistance. In fact, they say the best way you can help them is to stay away and allow the professionals to do their job. We're reporting live from Ringgold. Mark Teichner, Fox 5 News.